there. Hi, Jody. Ooh, Leon. Is that what I think it is? Well, if you think it's my mom's world-class potato salad, it is. Mmm. Jody, you want something for the picnic, too. Is it what I think it is? Um, probably not. Aha. Uh -huh. It's coleslaw. Uh-uh. Uh, macaroni salad? Uh, try pickled herring. Oh, sure. I've tried pickled herring. That's what's in the bag. You brought pickled herring to a picnic? My dad always brings pickled herring. Oh, and I love it. So, um, do you know where we're going? Well, no. Remember, yesterday we decided that today we would decide. <sighs> so many places to go. Hey, how about you? Tell us, where do you go when you go on a picnic? Hmm? I like to picnic in campgrounds where you can put up tents. Probably my backyard. It would have lakes, rocks around it, lots of flowers. A place where you can spread out your blanket and have a barbecue. A little island surrounded by water, animals and birds and palm trees. A park that has monkey bars, a slide, and something when you walk on it, it wiggles. A basketball court, a tennis court, and a um, pool. Wow, those are great places. But you know, I don't care where we go. Oh, me neither. Mm. Say, Leon, mm? we really should put this food in the refrigerator until it's time to leave. Yeah. And then we can get the picnic stuff together. Good idea. Yeah. Uh, Jody? Yeah? Pickled herring, huh? Sure. Regular or sour cream? <laughs> sour cream. <gasps> yes. All right. A birding we will go. A birding we will go. I ho the dare yo e i e i o. <laughs> hey, ready for the big picnic sizzle? Oh, almost ready. Mm. I'm getting together all the equipment for my favorite hobby. Napping? Bird watching. I always do that on a picnic. Oh, you don't say. Gee, I've never done that on a picnic before, sis. I mean, I've done bologna sandwich watching and a <gasps> piece of apple pie falling on the ground watching and a little uh -huh. bit of mayonnaise Nuz. on some... I hear you, Nuz. Gotcha. Nuz, hmm? would you like me to teach you how to go bird watching? Um, ooh, uh, will I get to use those binoculars? These? Hmm? Oh, yeah, definitely. <gasps> okay. Well, but you know, Sizzle, I think I already know how to go bird watching. Sure. Really? Yeah. See, you go into the woods, right? Uh huh. And yeah. You look for a bird. Yeah. And then when you see one, you yell out, "Hey, bird! Watch it!" <laughs> right, Sizzle? <laughs> no. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, ready for the picnic? More than ready. I brought my favorite picnic food. Yeah? Yeah. My Grandma Wu calls them cha siu bao. Cha siu bao. Mm -hmm. uh, which means? Pork buns. Oh. Hey, they look really good, Julie. But, um, where's the pork? Oh, Sky, it's already inside there. Yeah? <laughs> When you make pork buns, you start by making dough. You'll need a couple of cups of flour. Then, add in yeast and water. This makes the dough rise. Then you mix it up with your hands. <laughs> That's called kneading the dough. It's so ooey and gooey. <laughs> now cover it up and wait for it to rise. Just look at the dough now! It's all big and puffy. Meanwhile, the roasted pork is put into a bowl. You pour in a little sesame oil, some oyster sauce, and soy sauce to make it salty. Add a dash of sugar to make it a tiny bit sweet. Now stir it all together using chopsticks. Mmm, this is going to be so good. 
Here's how the pork gets inside the bun. Just wrap it up. Now the pork buns are ready to cook. Put them in a steamer. And in just a few minutes, they're all done. Wow, I can't wait to eat them. Boy, Julie, they do look good. And they'll go great with this corn. Corn? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sky, it's still all wrapped up inside the husk. Oh, <laughs> I know, Julie. It's for fire roasting. Oh. When Grandfather roasts corn, he starts with a wood fire. The fire is hot, so he's very careful. Shadala places the corn right into the flame. Each ear of corn cooks right inside its own husk. Soon the corn on the cob is roasted and ready to eat. Mmm, mmm, it's always juicy and sweet. I love roasted corn. Yes, roasted corn is perfect for our picnic in the mountains. Did you say mountains? Uh-huh. I love the mountains. Me too. Yeah, we've had some of our best family picnics in the mountains. 